In this video, we're going to balance an equation using oxidation number method. This is the equation we're going to balance. We have manganese and permanganate ion reacting with the chlorine in, from chloride ions to produce Mn2 plus and Cl2. And we are going to use the oxidation number method. And the reaction is being balanced in an acidic medium. If the oxidation number increases, the process is oxidation. So a change in oxidation number from minus 10 to plus 10 would mean that the process is oxidation. So I've indicated uh, it with a color coding, a uh, blue of low oxidation number and red of a high oxidation number. First thing would be to determine the oxidation number of manganese. We will take it as X. Oxygen, the oxidation number is minus 2. The net charge is minus 1. Therefore, X minus 8 is equals to minus 1. The oxidation number of manganese will be plus 7. The oxidation number of Mn2 plus on the product side is going to be 2 positive. Therefore, there is a decrease in oxidation number. The process is reduction. So, manganese in permanganate ion is reduced to Mn2 plus on the product side. This process is reduction and for this to happen, 5 moles of electrons have to be gained. The chloride on the reactant side has an oxidation number of minus 1. And if you take two chloride ions, the net oxidation number for two chloride ions would be minus 2. Because we need to produce one mole of chlorine molecule. Atomic chlorine has an oxidation number of 0. Therefore, there is an increase in oxidation number from minus 2 to 0. Or two moles of electrons are lost during oxidation. Whenever there is oxidation taking place, there is loss of electrons. And whenever there is a reduction taking place, there is gain of electrons. Now, the number of electrons lost are not equal to number of electrons gained. So, balancing is all about making the number of electrons lost and gained equal. This can happen if you take 2 moles of permanganate. So, we multiply 5 by 2, which becomes a coefficient of permanganate. And you multiply the 2 chloride ions by 5, so it gives off 10 moles of electrons. So, a coefficient of 2 would change the oxidation number of two manganese from 7 to 14. And this in turn will produce two manganese ions on the product side where the total oxidation number would be plus 4, which means it needs 10 moles of electrons. And the 10 moles of electrons are obtained by oxidation of chloride ions to chlorine molecule. For that to happen, we need to have 5 times 2 chloride ions, which is 10 moles of chloride ions giving you 5 moles of chlorine molecules. Or, now we have generated 10 moles of electrons by a process of oxidation. And these 10 moles of electrons will be gained by the manganese ion. So in order to balance the manganese on left and right, we're going to put 2 in front of the Mn2 plus in the product side. And similarly, we need to put a value of 5 in front of chlorine to get 10 chlorine atoms. So we have now balanced the manganese atoms on the left and right, the chlorine atoms on the left and right, what remains is the oxygen. In permanganate ion, there are two moles of permanganate ion, and we have four oxygens in each mole. Therefore, four times two makes it eight. In order to have eight oxygens in the product, we have to put a coefficient of eight in front of the water molecule so the oxygens are balanced. This equation is now balanced in acidic medium. Therefore, we have hydrogen ions, which has to be balanced. On the product side, we have eight times two, 16 hydrogen atoms. On the left, we can have 16 by putting a coefficient of 16 in front of the hydrogen ions. This will give us a completely balanced equation and this is how it can be written. 10 alpha minus plus 16 H positive plus 10 Cl minus gives you 2 Mn2 plus plus 5 Cl2 molecules plus 8 H2O. This equation is now balanced using oxidation number method. And that's how we balance a reaction using oxidation number method. That's it for now.